David Howell and Hikaru Nakamura join the pack of wolves at six and a half. David joins us at our Gibraltar studio. David, a balanced game from start to finish. How did it go? Um, yes, I was surprised in the opening. I spent far too long on the clock, as usual. Um, I mean, you say balanced, but I was always the one who had the chances. I was a bit better at least, um, but I couldn't turn it into anything and he seemed to find a way to draw quite smoothly. So he was very frustrated at the board visibly, but um, yeah, I can't complain too much. You know, when I'm surprised out the opening and there's no risk at all, it's, it's a good game. So You mentioned he seemed a bit frustrated on the board. Does this go back to the history that both of you share from, uh, from the Gibraltar Masters a couple of years ago? Um, at, at least he said some nice things to me after the game this time. Um, I won't dredge up ancient history, but uh, hopefully it's water under the bridge. So, yeah. Also this time the game was, um, I mean that game was obviously did not go uh, too well for you, but today was pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I drew that one as well, but um, yeah, I mean like, like I played him last year as well and that one I had some winning chances, so we've had some very dramatic games here in Gibraltar. Um, yeah, one day I'll get him. But uh, yeah, I guess this time we went on board one, which we were the last two times. So, yeah. Now, Dave, you didn't start very well, but four back-to-back -back wins. What changed? Um, I stopped preparing. <laughs> I stopped looking at the pairings the night before. Um, I don't know, just luck, I guess. I mean, I was very lucky, actually, in the first victory out of those four. Um, but then I picked up a bit of momentum, I guess, and hopefully I've still got enough energy for one last game tomorrow. Going into the last round, six and a half, points, how do you estimate your chances, expectations? Uh, zero expectations, I'll just wing it and hope for the best. So, We wish you all the best. Thank you, Tanya.